Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here. Uh, thanks for watching weatherweb.net. It's Tuesday the 16th of October and uh, just got a, a quick update for you, an overview of the winter models and how the output from the models is looking just at the moment. Um, we've got some fresh output now from the models um, and of course we're getting pretty close to the winter period. Winter officially meteorologically runs from 1st of December through to the 28th of February. Um, so we are right up against it now in terms of us approaching winter from a, a climate model point of view and I just wanted to run through uh, what the latest thoughts are with you. This is the output from the uh, Japanese model. I'm just going to zoom in uh, onto that one for you. There we go. So this is predicted temperature uh, for December, January and February. It's temperature anomaly and um, I think really what stands out there is um, the depth of cold look across the UK. Let's just come out a little bit more. There we go. Uh, the depth of cold look across the British Isles and much of Europe. This has gone for temperatures of, um, if we bring the temperature scale up, we're kind of getting down into 1.5 to uh, 1.2 degrees Celsius below normal temperatures throughout the winter season. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that it's cold right the way through by any means, but um, it does mean that certainly when you take the uh, season as a whole, that we're looking at some cold temperatures according to the uh, to the Japanese model. Quite interesting to see this warm weather across central parts of Asia. But just look how cold it is for the uh, eastern parts of Russia and China and running into much of the US. Look how cold it is here. Whilst um, down in the southern hemisphere, how much warmer than normal it is across m many parts of the southern hemisphere. But some real depth of cold predicted by the Japanese model across Europe for the whole of winter. Precipitation-wise, um, it uh, unsurprisingly keeps things drier than normal. Those pink colours there indicate precipitation of, uh, of below normal rates across much of the UK, across much of Scandinavia, running into the western parts of, uh, of Russia. Um, above normal rainfall, though, for much of Europe, look, particularly down here uh, across uh, central and southeastern parts of Europe. Now, what that indicates is that low pressure is uh, expected to be centered somewhere down here through much of uh, of the winter period high pressure blocked out towards the north and the east of the uk bringing in these east east or northeasterly winds and uh, tending to keep uh, precipitation down towards the south so probably not very wet but certainly according to the japanese uh, model it is going to be dry um, uh, uh, sorry, cold. Um, dry conditions as well you can see here across much of the states and pretty dry running up through eastern parts of Brazil and uh, down to parts of Argentina um, down here but um, notice how uh, we've also got this wet weather look up towards the northern parts of Argentina and also towards the northern parts of Brazil and through Peru so some very wet conditions down there through the course of the winter and wet too across the eastern parts of uh, Australia. Now, this is how the CFS, obviously that was the Japanese, this is the CFS model for the same period. So this is the CFS temperature anomalies from December through to February, uh, the latest output and well, notice the complete change. Look, it keeps temperatures actually around normal through much of the UK and much of Europe and puts them above normal across Scandinavia. Um, as far as precipitation is concerned, it gets western parts of the country, western parts of Scotland, western parts of Ireland, southern Iceland, western parts of uh, Norway here, keeps those wet and that would be consistent with a more westerly flow flowing through here, bringing wetter conditions, but elsewhere near normal conditions, although dry across southern Spain, northern parts of Italy. So quite a reversal there uh, from the CFS compared to the Japanese model. I should say the Japanese have been very consistent on this. CFS has jumped around rather more so. And finally look at the Met Office. Um, this is the UK Met Office output um, for December, January and February. This is uh, temperatures and it's probability of above normal, near normal and below normal temperatures. So this is the probability of above normal temperatures. You see it's 20 and below, so it's quite a low probability. Here's the probability of near normal temperatures and it's kind of still white, still in this colour. So it's equal weighting given to uh, near normal temperatures, uh, but but low probability of it generally across the country. But then look at this. This is the probability of below normal temperatures um, across the British Isles. And, well, you can see here, look, we're, we're getting into the 80 plus category across 
uh, west of Ireland and uh, 60 to 80 across many parts of the UK. Now, of course, this below normal doesn't need to be drastically below normal. It can be below normal, but certainly the Met Office pointing towards this cool winter too. And then if we look at rainfall from the Met Office, let's just zoom in a little bit on that. So again, we're into the probabilities of above and, and uh, near normal and below normal rainfall. And um, notice how this blue colour, how low the probability is across the north and the west of the country. And, and generally these white colours showing us that um, it also sees conditions as being dry. Um, near normal precipitation, well, it's got uh, the white colours again, so it's generally fairly low. But below normal precipitation levels, look, we're up here again, 40, 60, getting up to 80. So again you know the Met Office are, are backing up this idea of the um, of the uh, Japanese or is it the other way around the Japanese backing up the Met Office of these drier than normal conditions and just to bring you back to that one once again you know if that comes off that's a very cold look to the winter across much of Western Europe where do I think it's going to go well it's been a tricky one to try and pin down I've been kind of wavering um, a little bit over the winter forecast but I'm still going to stick with my forecast of we run down the middle of the winter in terms of temperature but what we do see is some spikes of sort of four five six days perhaps four or five of those spikes that become very cold um, so we could be seeing you know nighttime temperatures well below minus tens daytime temperatures struggling above freezing and it will go on for runs of perhaps four or five days but interspersed with those will be near normal or perhaps even warmer than normal temperatures so we'll come out at the end of the winter uh, with mean temperatures probably a degree, well half a degree to a degree below normal uh, for the winter period. Although that won't tell the whole story because I think it will be a winter where we see run of the mill temperatures but dips into very cold conditions. And I do buy this idea of the Japanese model of it being generally dry as well with high pressure to the north, low pressure down to the south. So I think we'll see drier than normal conditions but certainly I think we are going to be going into some pretty cold spells through the coming winter although not a run-of-the-mill cold winter right through uh, and certainly more than the one cold spell I think we'll see four or five of those coming through altogether okay so hopefully that's been useful for you as always weatherweb.net kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen so uh, it's you coming back and viewing the site regularly viewing the forecast using the adverts that what generates revenue for us so thank you for doing that and uh, as always keep the sun shining we'll keep our eye on this winter forecast and uh, of course keep you updated right the way through once again thanks for watching bye for now